Hi, I'm Dan John. Today I want to talk about uh, the difference between what we call grinds in the kettlebell world versus ballistics. Um, I think the ballistics are taught terribly, personally. Um, a ballistic is like a, when, you, when you shoot a rifle, the bullet is ballistic. So you've got that initial gunpowder hit. There's no way for the bullet to go faster. So when we teach like the kettlebell swing, I'm going to take that, my biggest muscles in my body and throw them forward at my dog and I don't add anything else to it that's the mistake most people do online they do a they do a kettlebell swing and then they try to you know use their elbows and arms and let's look stupid let me show you the the most basic of, uh, of the ballistics overhead let me show you what a grind is okay it'll be the double kettlebell press all I'm gonna do clean the weights squeeze my butt cheeks together and press the weight up that's just a grind now, when I teach ballistic movements, I always start by teaching heels together. By teaching heels together, I can be sure that the athlete isn't going to hinge on an overhead movement. This would be a hinging overhead movement. And that's always a problem. So I always start with the heels. Now, I was criticized a couple years ago at this thing, like, well, that's not in the manual. Well, I'll say as nice as I can. Bigger, Faster, Stronger has a video of me jerking 385 pounds for five reps in a row. One, two, three, four, five. If you jerk more than I do, I'll listen to you talking about overhead lift. I said as nice as I can. So I'm going to slide my heels together and show you uh, the ballistic movement called the push press. So I'm going to use my legs and finish with my arms. Heels together. Oh, that was a push jerk, sorry. The first one was a push jerk. Can't help myself sometimes. One thing you always have to remember, this comes from my friend Brian Oldfield, you cannot think through a ballistic movement. If you're thinking halfway through a ballistic movement, it's not very ballistic. So, I'll show you the push jerk now. <laughs> I'm going to keep my feet together. Snap my legs up and then re bend underneath. The problem with bringing the heels together, as you can see, is I always have to separate my legs back out. But that, that is the basic concept from ballistic movement. I want to add one more little trick for a lot of you. It's not a perfect day here in Utah. But one thing I ask you to do when you do a ballistic movement is use your ears when you coach the movement. What you want to hear is you want to hear how much noise your feet make. That's a great little key for your athlete. If you focus on anything else, what you see, what you smell, whatever, it's not going to work as well as your ears. So I want you to listen to this on my push jerk. Listen for the movement. By doing it that way, I know I've jerked the weight instead of doing some kind of hybrid grind ballistic. I'm Dan John in beautiful sunny Utah. Thanks so much for listening.